Let's look at Calc game. Welcome back to my panics of materials. So let's start with this problem. So we're given this steel rod, and we know it's cross-sectional area, so 50 millimeters. And then it has these three forces subjected to it. And our goal is to find the displacement of point D at the end here, right? So it's fixed at A, so A is not moving, but it's either going to stretch or compress this direction at D. So our goal is to find that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the equation we're going to use, right, displacement formula, is force length over area modulus elasticity. We know for the A36 steel is 200 GPA. So we know area too, so we just need to find the force and the length. But the problem is we have these three different sections and there's forces acting at each one of them. So we need to go through each section by section and find out what normal force is acting in that area and how much length there is in that area. So that's what I did. I went ahead and drew these three force body diagrams, but I haven't finished them yet. So let's start with this point D. So I took a cut, basically. If you're looking at the graph, I basically took a cut right along here, point CD. So we're looking at here and we're looking at just the right side of it. So we know that we have this two kilonewton force here. So then, at this point here, there's going to be a normal force. That normal force has to be equal to the forces pushing to the right. So this is going to be normal is equal to 2 kilonewtons. So that's going to be the force that we use for section DC, right? Because we know that the normal force at any point in that section is equal to 2 kilonewtons. So let's do the next point, CD, right? Why right, don't we go ahead and write out our equation first before we do this. So displacement of D, right? It's going to be equal to the displacement of each one of these parts. So let's start with CD. So that's however much CD gets displaced, plus however much BC gets displaced, plus however much AB gets displaced. So, all right, displacement of D is equal to, so we just said, right, PL over AE. It's going to have the same area and the same modulus elasticity for each one of these points because they all have the same area. So I'm going to go ahead and factor that out, 1 over AE. And this is what we're looking at P, L for A, C, D. So we just said the force, the normal force is 2. So we can just go ahead and plug in a 2 there. And then the length of it is 1.25 meters. So we went ahead and found out what the displacement for C, D is if you just calculated that. So now we need to find out what B, C is and what A, B is. So let's go to C, D. So we know that we have that 2 kilonewton here. And then also at C, we have that 4 kilonewton. So our normal force, right, if we take a cut between B and C anywhere, it's going to be the same. The normal force is going to have to be equal to 6 kilonewtons. And you'll see that it's pushing away from the beam, so it's going to make us want to expand, which is why we're using a positive sign here. Same thing here. This normal is pushing away, so it's going to make us want to expand positive number. So now we know that our normal force for BC is 6. So we can do 6 times the length of it, which is 1.5. All right, so now let's move on to our last one, BA. So let's draw all the forces again, 2 kilonewton. You know, I have this one, which is 4 kilonewton. But then in B, we have this 9 kilonewton pushing this way. So 9 kilonewtons pushing that way. So if we do some of the forces in the X, we'll see that we have 6 pushing to the right, but 9 pushing back. So to counterbalance that, our normal force is going to have to be pushing to the right with 3 kilonewtons. Right? So now our normal force is pushing in between A and B. And because our normal force is pushing in, it's making us want to contract. We're going to make sure to use a negative number to represent our displacement as small in this area. So it's going to be minus that 3 kilonewton load, and the length of that beam is 1 meter. Okay, so if you plug in our area, 50 millimeters squared, and our modulus elasticity, 200 GPA, don't have to change the units because we kept 2 kilonewtons, you're going to find that the displacement of D is equal to 0 0.850 meter, millimeters squared. Or not millimeters squared, just millimeters. All right, so that's a pretty cool question, right? You can pretty much break it down into this one super simple equation just by drawing these three force body diagrams. Break this question down. I promise it makes it a lot easier. So yeah, uh, stick around. I'm going to solve the next problem, 4.4, right after this. And yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, check out my playlist. Check out the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.